Oh, hi there. Uh, I'm I'm sorry, I wasn't expecting you. Well, since you're already here, I may as well let you in on a little secret. But first, let me ask you a question. Do you hate releases? Do they make you feel queasy and uncomfortable? I mean, just imagine, you've already missed the first deadline, and oh, that was a whole load of fun trying to explain, and now the second one's approaching, and somehow, even with all that extra time, you're still playing catch-up. The whole team's crunching 80 hours a week, patching in bugs, cherry-picking commits left and right, fixing those pesky merge conflicts, which of course just lead to more bugs. Ugh, everyone's stressed. Your boss, your teammate, your family. Even your dog is stressed. I'm stressed for you. And every time this happens, you ask yourself, once we do deploy to production, what if it just blows up? And then, a Slack notification comes in, and it's your boss asking to jump on a Zoom call. He says it's very important. Sorry to be doing this to you, Gary, but we need feature XYZ in this release. Make it happen. There has to be a better way. And there is. Yes! C-I-C-D. But what does that even mean? Is it a product? An animal? A magic spell? Close, but not quite. It is a methodology. Specifically, a way to structure your delivery pipeline. Now, what do I mean by delivery pipeline? It's simple. Your delivery pipeline is the process that carries your code from the developer all the way to the customer. For the most part, that's going to involve some sort of version control, and then probably an entire arsenal of other tools for building, testing, and deploying your application. That's kind of how it goes. Now, before I continue, I think it's important to mention that CICD is an incredibly deep topic which I could talk about for hours and hours. And I... I only have a few minutes left, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to dive a little bit deeper into CICD, just so you can at least wrap your head around the basic ideas behind it, and then I'm going to go over the juicy, juicy benefits it provides. Sound good? Let's go. Now, I keep saying CICD, but what does it actually stand for? It stands for Continuous Integration, CI, Continuous Delivery, CD. These two ideas can actually be separated, so let's go over each of them real quick. First, we'll start with CI, Continuous Integration. At its core, Continuous Integration is about two things. One, merging code often, meaning multiple times a day. That's the continuous part. Easy, right? Mm, not quite. There is a catch, which brings me to number two. Those continuous merges should go into a main shared location, usually called the trunk, mainline, or the very common master branch. Furthermore, said trunk, mainline, or master is the only long-lived branch. This means no more parallel release branches or long-running feature branches or any of that. You start from trunk, code a little bit, and then merge back into trunk. That's the integration part. And perhaps more important, this is also what we call trunk-based development. Now, although trunk-based development is a hard requirement for continuous integration, which itself is a requirement of continuous delivery, meaning trunk-based development is a requirement of CI-CD, well, it's also an entire topic of its own that could be discussed for hours and hours, so I won't be going into it, but it's definitely something to keep in the back of your mind for future research. Now, that takes care of CI. What about CD, though, i.e. continuous delivery? Let's see. Continuous delivery is really about one thing. Your trunk, mainline, or master branch is always releasable. What do I mean by that? I mean that no matter what happens anywhere else, the code that flows into trunk could be deployed to the customer, if so desired. Note that I said could. Being able to release on every change to trunk, 
is different from actually doing so. In fact, there is a term for the process of releasing on every merge into trunk, and that's called continuous deployment. Continuous delivery is, in a way, one step behind that, where every merge into trunk simply has the potential to be released. Keep in mind that being picky about when you release is not always due to a technical limitation. It's sometimes just a choice made by the company based on the product they offer and how they want to structure their releases. And that takes care of CD. But before I move on to telling you just how great life becomes when you combine CI and CD, I think it's worth mentioning the MVP in all of this. The one element that I would say enables these concepts to ascend from just being a bunch of daydreaming to actual reality. That is automation, particularly automated tests. They are essential in making sure that you're not only able to continuously integrate your code into trunk with confidence, but through this confidence, also ascertain the trunk is always releasable. So good job, automated tests. Now, to summarize, one, use a single primary branch, trunk, mainline, master, whatever you want to call it. Two, integrate code into it often, meaning multiple times a day. Three, use automated tests, a lot of them. Now, there is an honorable mention that I should point out, which is feature toggling, meaning the ability to turn features on and off from one deployment to the next. There's a point where you will need them to keep an always releasable trunk, but it is a relatively advanced subject, so I will once again give it this brief mention and move on. Okay, on to those juicy, juicy benefits I mentioned earlier. Here are the main ones. One, confidence in your product. The single source of truth from using one primary branch combined with your numerous automated tests, which you totally did not skimp on, and the regularity of your code check-ins will give you the confidence that, come release day, nothing's going to blow up. Two, increased collaboration. The shared primary branch that everyone checks into regularly, or dare I say, continuously, has the effect of dissolving a lot of the silos that probably have built up over time across your company. Three, increased code quality. With regular PR reviews and restrictions against long-running feature branches, which, by the way, are a nightmare, not only to review, but also to integrate because of those pesky, pesky merge conflicts I mentioned. And for what? They basically just get shoved into production because of deadlines or the entire team just throwing the towel and say, screw it, merge it in. I don't care. None of that here. You and or your developers will find that the code base has turned from a swamp to a beautiful garden with soft green grass, pretty perfumed flowers, and tall majestic trees. Like my background, really. Four, increased release cadence. All of the benefits I listed previously, along the continuous pulse of your primary branch chugging along without a hitch, you will find yourself able to release a lot more stuff a lot more often. Five, the journey is just as valuable as the destination. Yes, every step you take to reach the CICD dream, which despite involving pipelines is not a pipe dream, <laughs> each of those steps will yield incredible dividends on their own. Automated testing, trunk-based development, continuous integration, feature toggling, all of those will improve your development process letting you breathe easy as you implement these patterns on your way to CICD pipelines. Six, so many things. I mean, take your pick. Your boss is no longer stressed about releases, nor are you or your family or your dog. No more mad dash to the finish when a release deadline's coming up. Less bugs, cheaper bugs. Happy developers, happy customers, happy everyone, really. Except your competitors, but you know what? I think you're okay with that. Well, that's a lot of them. And honestly, I think this is about all the time I have. I hope you learned something good and that you are already tweeting to your team about how CICD is the revolution you've all been waiting for. 
Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I stressed out about doing it. Ha, <laughs> just kidding. Eh, uh, maybe. My name is Alice, and I am a senior software engineer at Prebug. <laughs>